The issue we're looking at is why is there a wage gap between men and women, which is approximately 15% in the United States, across Europe and the UK, and also in Australia, where we get our data from. Data where we know that the question has been asked about whether people have asked for a pay rise or a promotion. So that was quite unusual. There is no other workplace data that uses that. We have 4,800 randomly uh, selected employees who are matched with their 800 employers. What we needed was like-for-like -like data. And what that means is if we're going to compare it to men and women and find out if they ask, we want men and women who are exactly the same. We control for children, we control for the number of years worked in the employment, we've controlled for uh, education, so that we know when we ask a man that that person's education is the same as the woman's. And that's what hadn't happened in previous uh, research. Women over 40 seem to be asking the same as men, but they're not getting, whereas women under seem to be asking the same as men and getting the same. We don't know whether this is the new generation, the young generation, and there's much more equality around, so they're all getting paid more equally. What we need to do is follow that group all the way through their life and see when they get older whether they are still equally paid, men and women, or whether this is just because we've actually got women before they've left the marketplace or before they've had children and gone out of work for a few years. We know that part-time workers are far less likely to ask for a pay rise, whether they're a man or a woman maybe that they have, um, that, that the flexibility is worth more than the money to them. Now, of course, what we know is that there's far more women who are part-time workers than men. So that will also increase the pay gap. Another hypothesis that's been raised about why women don't ask for pay rises, women were more worried about the reaction of asking a question about pay to their boss than men, and that they might upset this relationship. Amazingly, there's a question in this AWERS, in this Australian workplace data, which actually asks whether they are worried about their relationship. And it actually links it to negotiation and pay negotiation also. And we find women are not more nervous about upsetting the relationship um, with their boss than men. Of course, the main takeaway on this paper is that women are asking for pay rises to the same extent as men, but they are not getting. Part-time women are not asking for pay rises, but we also find that part-time men aren't asking for pay rises. So the key thing here is that you've got to control for the number of hours. Now, as more women work in part-time employment than men, of course, that means that they're going to be getting asking less for a pay rise and getting less. <laughs>